let's look firstly at this game. The fear true scale. Most of us have huge amounts of fear that we are unaware of in our lives. Now, they, they generally surround issues like, what do people think of me? What do, my, what do I really look like to other people? And so many of these fears not only are surrounding those issues, but underneath that issue is a deeper issue of what do I really feel about myself? How do I really you know, feel or think about myself as well is a big issue. And often we do not want to address our fears. And this is why the pain seems to be a necessary part in the process. But is it, but is it an essential part? What do you think? Why? We could volunteer. We could volunteer. Yeah. So what, remember, quite a few of you did the um, thing in Mulaney, the, the little intensive we had. And remember, one of the things I said there was that fear is your friend. What did I mean by that? Anyone want to put up their hand? Can you remember what I meant by fear is your friend? Fire away. Uh, I could give you an example. On Monday afternoon, my boss walked into the shop and he said, I'm sorry, but your job is ending at the end of February. Yeah. I went into great fear. Yeah. But then the fear was... Um, the catalyst for me to say, well, okay, I've got fear, so I'm going to have to really get into my emotions here and experience them. Mm -hmm. So on the way home Monday night, I yelled and screamed and I hit the steering wheel and I felt, and I cried a lot and yeah. I felt a lot better yeah. when I got home and then I cried some more when I got home. And then Wednesday, a friend told me about a job. I had an interview this morning and everybody keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be stepping into another job that will be just perfect for me. Yeah. So it was, it was a reminder to me to get into the emotions of it. Yeah. And as soon as you get into the emotions of it, your law of attraction changes. Mm. So that's the thing to remember. If your law of attraction is not changing, and we'll have another informal session where I'll talk about the law of attraction, but if the law of attraction isn't changing, then it means you're not processing the causal emotion to attracted those events in the first place. So that's a very good example. So if you decided to live in your fear, do you know what I mean by live in your fear rather than go through your fear? For most of us, what we have a tendency to do is live in our fear. So remember last time we got together before Christmas, I said that we tend to go through this process of hearing the truth and the soul sings. Remember I said that? And then what happens after the soul sings for a while? The soul... Sink. Sink. And why does the soul sink? Because we've got to really look sincerely at why it does. Because it's one of the major blockages for your progression. Is getting out of that soul singing part, which is really wonderful, isn't it? When, when you're hearing truth and it's really resonating with you, it feels wonderful, you feel happy, joyous, you feel uplifted, you feel encouraged, you feel like you want to progress, you feel really enthused. But when the soul goes into the sink area, what happens there? Oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know, no, I want to avoid any person who's doing this. <laughs> you want to avoid life even sometimes, don't you? And definitely avoid AJ because he's a major <laughs> pain. <in that. laughs> so what I find is what most people do is they go through this process firstly. And if I draw it now, sort of like a, a point points on a progression of time. So firstly, the soul sings, as we said. During that phase, if you like, and that phase may last a little while, for me it lasted about two weeks, I think. Um, but for many, it lasts much longer. Come in and there's some seats here down the front there. Um, how many of you found the soul singing phase quite a long period? So quite a number. That's quite good. How many of you found the soul singing was about, you know, the time you watched the DVD <laughs> or something like that? And then after that you went into some emotions. How many of you found that happening? So quite a number there. It all depends as to what's getting triggered inside of you 
as to what will happen. And also, it all depends on many cases how long you're willing to hold on to emotions that are inside of you that you don't want to release that are in opposite to love. Because it, sometimes we can hold on to those emotions by suppressing them so much that we don't finish up that we don't finish up dealing with them, and we try to we try to stay in this soul singing phase for a long time in order to feel good. Because what do we like doing? We like feeling only good. We don't like feeling uh, painful emotions. We just like feeling pleasurable emotions. So that period it will will often last some time when a person first hears truth. Then we kick into this other phase where some things start happening. One thing that starts happening is judgment. Now, how many of you have started the soul singing process, right? started seeing the truth of what's going on, and then saw yourself in the mirror for the first time in your life and then started saying to yourself, wow, I've got some major, major problems inside of me. <laughs> uh, and then what you did, straight after that, is went into judgment of those major problems inside of you. How many of you have found that happening? Right, so the majority of us have found that happening. All right. Now, why does that happen? What, what's your idea of why that might happen? Far away. Yeah. 